Okay, here's the interior tour. 4552 Holly Byron Road, Clarendon, New York. This is the feed store building. Highway commercial. Comes up, board and batten siding. Um, this property has some roof issues, but here's the front porch. Used to be the loading dock. That's the main entrance right here. And then this is going into the feed store part of the building. See how the light works. Oh, it's going to work. Okay. Immediately off to your left. We have a small room with insulation board. Mm. Leads to the electrical closet and storage. And this has a large circuit breaker panel box. Back out. That's the view outside the front door. Coming inside. Post and beam construction on the two-story part. Tongue and groove board walls. Building is meant to hold grain. Scale and trap door down to the crawl space. No basement. Goes around. Comes back into the retail area and we'll do that last, but there's a couple of ways in, and this is all partitions that have been thrown up over the years since the barn was originally built. Stairs going up. And we're continuing on the wood floor. Back to the metal edition. Flat works not too great, but there's a gentle transition, and should somebody want to make it all one floor, it wouldn't take much mm -hmm. to do it. They have a carve out of space here that came from, and interconnects with the retail space in the front. Get that to focus for you. Well, anyway, going around, you see the basic ribs of the building, metal, sided. Uh, in this portion, it is a wood roof, and it's going to need some service. But again, you've got large square footage here. You see this plastic partition. This was put up to uh, allow for uh, segregation of the space. This back part of the barn. There's a double wide entry door slider off to the north, mm. coming back. Um, I believe there's another one to the south. Don't know how the access works on that, but it's there. And you can see above, this is where you have a major roof leak. And I'll be pointing that out in a couple more spots yet. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off here and head back. Wow, well, that's going to work. Oh, not bad. Okay, coming back, you can see where it was added to the original wood frame structure. Now, I'm going back into the two-story part. We'll run upstairs real quick and see what that looks like. I should get away from that light source because it just keeps me from showing you what's here. We don't have a light switch here. Don't have lights up here, though. Comes up the stairs rather darkly. up here you can see not much um, again tiny group board walls a couple of windows facing the east here and we'll do our best to show you what we got based on the available ambient light a little riser there's just a retail fixture going back to the stairs now we're going downstairs to check out the retail space. Okay. To the light. Turn left from the barn. Now you're in what was the retail space of the feed store, hardware, whatnot. Um, some debris in here. We suffered some vandalism, but you can also see that we have a. Uh, Roof damage, this would be the northern facing most gable of the roof gable end. And it extends down this way. If you're doing the whole north roof for sure. But then you've got this area, was probably where the counter was at one time. Finished a little differently. Over here, this takes you back to the retail space front. Pegboard walls for product. Went back. A little carve out here that went into the other side of the barn there. And then over here you've got 
a little privy toilet wash basin don't know where it goes where it leads but that's pretty much it and then this is the rest of the retail space that you're looking at inside 4552 holly byron road bring your imagination and your checkbook <laughs>